So, hello guys, uh, part two of exercise number seven. In the last, or in the first part, we end up, we end up here on this apply and close. Okay, let me switch to robot structural analysis. Let me go to, go to view, projection, and change to an axonometric view. Okay, now let me click the add button to define another load case load case that load two and i'm going to self weight and mass i'm going to define body forces okay over here body forces as you may see i'm going i'm going to define an acceleration and this will be turned on a force depending on the gym and on the um, dynamical uh, properties of the structure okay so I'm going to choose now relative to G okay and I'm going to enter Z minus 1 over here and apply okay over here this will define a body force with acceleration of gravity G for nodal masses. It takes account of the self weight of added masses. Okay, now I'm going to apply and now close. Okay, now over here I'm going to define a live load. Live load 1, and I'm going to give it the name of transport this load is aimed at modeling the action of inertia forces on the frame and on additional masses due to rotation motion forces caused by ship rolling during the transportation of this structure okay let me add this let me go to the load definition self weight and mass and pick over here centrifugal and angular acceleration forces okay now i'm going to enter the coordinates of the rotation center which will be zero zero minus five the centrifugal velocity and acceleration over here you have got the centrifugal velocity and over here the acceleration okay i'm going to choose Vx x equals 0 0.5, 0 0.5 radians per second, okay? And on the y direction, 0 0.2 radians per second. Now, the acceleration will be 0 0.2 and over here, 0 0.1, okay? I'm going to press the add button going to choose the apply to and over here i'm going to select all the structure with control a apply very good now okay apply and close now on the load type dialog box i'm going to define a new load case which will be number four and this will be a rotor load case this load case is aimed at modeling operation in the equipped mountain on the frame by considering its weight and vibrating force in harmonic analysis okay i'm going to add this very good now i'm going to load case definition self weight and mass i'm so sorry Rotor, okay. Sorry, I need to change over here to rotor. Now I'm going over here, okay. Self weight and mass. And now I'm going to choose, sorry, node. I'm going to choose the nodal force. And I want the force which will be minus zero, minus zero point five. I'm going to press the add button and I'm going to apply it the four middle nodes on the top 
with the control pressed over here. I, I guess this is the best view to do that. Pressing control, select these four nodes, as you may see. Okay, I'm going to apply. Very good. I'm going to apply this. Now I'm going to self-weight and mass. Add and masses nodes. Zero here, zero here, 200. Two, which means two kilonewtons over here. Add and then just one thing. Apply to all cases. Add and apply this to these nodes. Okay. Okay. Now let me close that. Let me go to analysis menu, analysis types. Press the new button. And now define a model analysis. Okay, very good. Now I'm going to set the default parameters of model analysis. Okay, I'm going to close this loads menu mass table. You may see here the mass table over here. Okay, with the the masses that we have defined previously. I'm going to close this. I'm going to loads menu, manual combinations. Very good. I'm going to press OK over here. Switch to parameters. I'm going to let the auto over here and robot is going to choose the factor by, by which will escalate the loads. Okay, now I'm just going to select the first three load cases, press the first one, press shift. While pressing shift, select the third one, it will say add everything and add OK. I'm going to apply and I'll press new. Very good. And now select case one, two, and four. And once again, auto. Okay. Apply and close. Now I'm going to run the calculations. Okay. Now I'm going to run the calculations. Pressing this button. The model analysis will be done over here. Let's wait a little bit. Okay. Now I'm going to results. Let me maximize this. Left mouse click display go to the loads tab and turn on the load symbols and forces generated automatically. Okay, load symbols and forces generated automatically. Okay, apply. Okay, now we may see we may see the forces that have been generated automatically. As you may see over here, what is number two? Oh, for the transport, you may see all the dynamic loads defined here. It, it's a bit complicated to check these loads, but you may check them here. Okay, here I have that load two, the transport load and the rotor loads. Notice that the rotor loads are defined as a static set of forces, not dynamic ones. It's the difference between the rotor and the transport forces, okay? Note that. Now, restore the default set of displayed attributes, okay? I'm going to the deformation tab and switch on the deformation over here apply and now we can see the deformation for the rotor for the transport as you may see what a crazy thing that load number two and also that load number one now i'm going to turn on the results menu i'm going to results now and i want that stresses 
you may see the stress is over here. I'm going to pick six to seven or six and seven, which are the combinations. I'm going to right mouse click and go to table columns and switch off bending and axials just to see the extreme, nothing else. And to press OK. Now I can check here the global extremes over here of stresses. Now I'm going to close this. Now I'm going to select results menu, advanced modal analysis and in this table you may check everything regarding modal analysis, frequency of the first mode, second mode, to mode number 10. Remember that I have accepted the default parameters. I'm going to close this just to show you the deformation regarding the modes. I'm going to pick the modal analysis. I'm going to select mode number one, turn on the deformation and you may see the deformation of, I'm going to normalize it, the deformation of the mode number one. Now mode number two, three, four, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we end up the exercise. I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you for bearing here with me and thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe.